of mine everyone. So it's 7 a.m. and we've just woken up and today is going to be our first day of exploring the Amazon rainforest. So the Amazon rainforest isn't exactly a place where you can just turn up by yourself and start doing trails and go into community stuff like that. You do need a tour for everything you're gonna do. And when we decided we were going to come here, we made a post on Instagram asking if anybody knew of any good tour companies. And pretty much everyone kept saying the same company, which is a company called Iguana Tourism, Iguana Turismo. So yeah, we contacted them and we're gonna be doing all the tours here in the Amazon region with them. So I think we're gonna be doing three different tours overall over the next seven to eight days. And today, just to get into it, we're gonna be doing a day tour here from Manaus. And that tour is gonna to cost 260 reais per person, and it is a full day tour, and that includes meals. Not exactly sure what's included in the tour, but I know that there's gonna be like boat tours. I think we get to visit a community that's not so far from here. So yeah, it's gonna be really interesting and a good introduction to the Amazon. Come to the port of Manaus where we came in the last video but today we're here to do the boat trip so right now we're just gonna get on a boat one of these boats around here so this is gonna be our little boat here for our tour same kind of boat as this I think isn't it yeah really What's the animal called that we're going to see now? Uh, it's Boto. Boto? Yeah, it's like a freshwater river dolphin and it's very famous here. In Rio we call it Boto Cruz Rosa because it's like, it has a pinky color. But I think here the locals, they call it like a red dolphin. Like red dolphin. Red Boto, Boto Vermelho. Yeah. So we're actually on like a floaty platform here. We're not on land. So yeah, I think we'll be able to see them down here. Yeah, you can see them down there. Yeah, so after this group goes in, whoa, look at that. <laughs> you can see the stomach looks pink, right? And there are a few rules, so you can't use any like rings, anything metallic. You also have to remove all your sunscreen or any lotion that you've got on. Eu pensei que era você me batendo, mas é ele. Passa a mão na embora. Ai, pai, não vi. Eu passei na barriga dele tá tocando. The eyes are uh, tiny. Yeah, tiny. They, I don't think they see like the the water dolphins, the, the ocean dolphins. They see less because they have a smaller eye. That's what like, the guys do. More told. blind. Yeah, I know more blind, but they they have a strong sensor. Smell. Strong, yeah, stronger than the the ocean dolphin. Ai, 
sure is nice and peaceful around here. Yeah, yeah except for the thunder. The thunder is very like strong. Yeah, I hope it doesn't rain a lot. Yeah. Can never really tell around here. Looked like it was gonna rain in yesterday's video, and it never did. Yeah. And listen to that. Whoa! <laughs> a tropical storm is coming. <laughs> So this next stop is an indigenous community. What was the name of the community, Carol? Sipia. Sipia. Yeah. So the guide is explaining a lot of stuff, but since we're sat at the back, it's kind of hard to um, film what he's explaining. But he was just talking about all the different um, indigenous communities that live along here in the Amazon. And they all have different uh, dialects, right? Different languages. I think the most prominent language uh, spoken here on the uh, Rio Negro is called Tucano. So I think we're going to have a, a presentation, right? Yeah. Pessoal, vou deixar agora o líder da comunidade, o líder daqui, fazer explicação, explicar um pouco sobre a comunidade e sobre suas origens, tá bom? Já passa. Ma Ararima Wagarima Wa Arona Jayavi, Jayavi Doka, Jamui Purin Doka, Nana, Eropira, Muri Kuni Sorimana, Yibera Maramara, Marasu Bukatri, Eropaya, Baike, Mayonga, Mayamuni, Mane Baemu, Irana. E a nossa raiz, de onde a gente vem, é no distrito de Pari Cachoeira, no município de São Gabriel da Cachoeira, a 1800 quilômetros fora de Manaus, na cabeceira do rio que é fronteira com a Colômbia. Lá nós somos 20, 23 etnias diferentes. E aqui nós somos a minoria. Só somos cinco. Etnia de Sana, que é a minha, Tucana, Tuyuca, Bará e Cubeba. É cinco línguas diferentes. Mas só que nós, com, nós nos comunicamos só com uma língua, que é a língua Tucana. Porque essa língua é a língua geral do Alto Rio Negro. Nós temos também esse fogo. Esse fogo ela é feito com uma resina de uma árvore breira da natureza. Breu branco. Yeah. 
Qual, qual é o seu nome? Roselene. Roselene. Nome bonito. <laughs> so I haven't even seen my design yet. Now I've seen it in the camera. Whoa, mine's cool. Yeah, it looks very cool. Do you want? Yeah. The girl that painted you looked about, I don't know, like five or six. Yeah, she yeah. was a little kid. You want to go and check out the community now? Yeah, yeah, we can. Outside? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so that was the area that we did the presentation. Oh, I got a little duck here. Hello, Mr. Duck. Check this out. So in Brazil, even uh, indigenous people have a football ground. And I guess this is where they they live, their homes, these little huts. Yeah, so there's quite a few around this area. See some more back there. We even joined in uh, dancing. Yeah, yeah. But we couldn't film it because we were no, yeah, dancing. We were dancing with them, <laughs> and apparently this is this was not a ritual. It's just like uh, presentations because the real rituals are usually like for an, a day. Over and a day. Over a day, and you need to be invited. So it's not like every, everyone can go and do it. So it was just a presentation, and they were the guy was talking about the culture and the history, like many many inter interesting things, and it was very nice. Yeah, so I'm just wandering around now. They let you wander around for like 30 minutes. That's when we'll get the boat to have lunch somewhere. Some more areas here. It looks like places to have lunch. I guess this is another one of the little houses. That looks like some sort of fruit or plant. I don't know what that is. Check this. We got the Amazon tiger dog. The Amazon tiger dog. Man, you look cool. Half dog, half tiger. <laughs> so they have loads of different souvenirs here inside. So I got this one here for ten eyes and you got this one here. Yeah. These are the seeds, right? Mm-hmm. Add to my collection. <laughs> yeah, it is raining super hard now. Probably been like this for like 20 minutes. And we can't leave in this rain because we gotta go like an hour, I think, to the next spot. And yeah, the guy doesn't know when it's gonna pass, obviously, so I guess we're stuck in the indigenous community here. We're gonna stay the night. Alright, the rain's not stopping, so we're going for it. Luckily we brought an umbrella. Carol brought a coat. <laughs> Now arrived at our lunch stop. So this is Rio Solimões, which is the upper Amazon River. It's more of a brown color here. No longer the the Black River. And this is a spot. Hungry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to eat like an hour ago, right? Yeah, because of the rain. <laughs> yeah, because of the rain. Food looks good though, like a big buffet. So the food is great here, just like everywhere in Brazil. So I just got some rice, beans, broccoli, got some fried uh, plantains, which we love, and chicken. You got almost the same, just with fish, right? Yeah, and some, some veggies. Oh yeah, that's the big Amazon fish, the biggest, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Not a bad spot to eat, right on the Amazon River. And now we're gonna do a trail that's in the same lunch spot here 
Let it go. So there's a trail up here. Do you remember the name of this place, this park? Januari, I think. Januari. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, yeah. Be aware with, uh, with the monks. Oh yeah, monkeys. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna steal stuff. Yeah, look at the look at the all the, the monkeys. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, they're going all the way up. You're gonna see soon. Yeah, check it out. Loads of little monkeys everywhere. <laughs> oh here we go. Right, where is he running? <laughs> I thought he was gonna try to get the, the water bottle. Funny little sounds. This guy's up. Yeah, so here at the top of the monkey stairs, get a way better view of the upper Amazon River. And this trail looks really cool. Yeah, so we're basically on like a, a big bridge, big walking deck amongst the trees. Wonder what inside that is. Yeah, Carol, so I think the next tours that we're going to be doing is going to be more like this all the time, right? Yes, because we're going to a more remote place and we're going to stay there for a few nights and even sleep in the jungle, in the middle of the jungle. Yeah, it's going to be wild. So this is like a little spoiler of what's to come in the next videos. trail just leads us to this sort of uh, observation deck here overlooking this uh, I think it's a lake is it a lake or a river oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know can't see where the water goes over there and you got these huge lily pads all over the place yeah, the famous Vitoria Hege Vitoria Vitoria Hege is a very famous plant in Brazil and I think in, in English is Amazon, Victoria Amazon, something like that. Oh, yeah. Amazonica, something like that. This name, name Victoria, was named in homage to the Queen Victoria. It's not named for us. We know him as Moriru. Moriru means the star of the sea. The plant aquatic is considered one of the largest plant aquatic of the planet. Its pattern of the sea will reach in two meters. So in case you're wondering, you can get guided tours in uh, English, probably even other language with Iguana Tours. We just did the Portuguese one with, with the Brazilians here since we speak uh, Portuguese obviously, but we did see other groups of foreigners, so that is an option. And the guy tells you loads of information. Yeah, this video obviously doesn't contain everything that he's telling us. So he did mention that there's other tribes in the Amazon that have never encountered uh, modern day humans even. They found their camps but when they arrive there there's nobody there so yeah they don't want any contact with us. And besides that he's just telling you information about the rivers so the Amazon is the biggest river in the world by extension, size and uh, volume, the output. And Rio Negro, the other one that we've been seeing, is the largest blackwater river in the world as well. And the amount of water going out of the Amazon is so much that the ocean area is is not salty at all apparently it's just the water of the Amazon so you have to go like miles and miles until it gets uh, salty didn't know that at all
um outro instrumento metálico com ponta curvada em lâmina, que era o riscador, para fazer risco e forma de ver que eu não vou fazer na árvore para não machucar, tá? Aqui já tem um buraquinho, então eu vou só fixar aqui, tá? E eu vou tirar aqui para vocês entenderem, ó. Borracha, ó. Tá? Borracha. Depois de eu fazer o corte, a seringa começaria a escorrer. Um instrumento final era o aparador. Era um instrumento metálico que eles vinham como se fosse uma tigela. Eles fincavam aqui. E agora, eles iam aparar todo o latex e iam fazendo isso em todas as seringueiras. Gente, acabou o trabalho? Não. Eu tava com a matéria líquida. Agora tava na hora de transformar em matéria sólida. Uma das madeiras mais belas do nosso país. Qual era? Pau Brasil. Mesmo a família do Pau Brasil, tá? Então, Pau Brasil tem essas folhas assim, ó. Tá? Em, em folhas bem menores. Mas essa madeira, quando ela ficar maior e mais velha, é uma madeira tão boa quanto o pau-brasil também. Então, todas as espécies de árvores grandes que tenham folhas assim são da mesma família do pau-brasil, não na mesma resistência. Né? Looks like they stole some nice fruit from the from restaurant. The yeah, look. The restaurant. They all got fruit. Oh, Watermelon. Okay. <laughs> He looks angry. Well, you should be happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one got another one that got a watermelon. Hey, Mr. Watermelon. That's the fish you keep eating, right? Yeah, wow, it's huge. Piraru ku. Yeah, absolutely gigantic. Look at the size of that thing. So, Carol's going first. Go on, Carol. Bota na água, Carol. Caraca, ele não consegue tirar, cara. Ele não tira. Man, Carol's in a battle. A true battle. It's gone? Well, everybody, everybody else's was like three seconds. Yours was like five minutes. And there's no... Uh, how they call no them? more fish. No. No hooks. Yeah, there's no hooks, so they just need to, the fish just need to come and grab the fish. Yeah. Now it's right. Chris' turn. Yeah, my turn. Good luck. No, I didn't get it. Oh, it's <laughs> Okay. God damn. Because you don't see it in the water at all. No, it's so just boom. a surprise. It's like an anaconda. Yeah. All right, second one. Oh, oh. oh my god, you look at that size. That was cool. <laughs> I don't have the energy anymore. <laughs> yeah, that that was a real workout. Those things are so powerful. My arms all sore now. <laughs>
Cal did a good job. You, you defeated yours. It's like five minutes, couldn't get your fish yeah, at all. I was afraid of getting into the water. Oh, I falling. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, the moment it bites, it really tugs, doesn't mm -hmm. it, quickly? And it's so strong. So. Mm -hmm. But I'm stronger. <laughs> stronger than Piraruku. Stronger than Piraruku. Yeah, in this part here, there's actually some little, I guess like river homes, right? Yeah, uh, he waiting people who live in the, in the river like this. They're called Hibirinhos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so those are these houses here. There's even a, a dog. A dog chilling. Yeah. Just chilling. I don't think it's joint to the the land, is it? No, it's not. No? It's just floating. So we're buying some more souvenirs now, now some proper souvenirs, so got this, uh, what is it, like a vase or something? Yeah. Yeah, 40 here, yes. so a really good price. I'm gonna buy to put it on our family's house because we don't have a house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for our family. And Carol got more bracelets. How much are those? Five reais. Five reais each? Yeah, this one is a cordão and both of them are made from acai seeds. They're, yeah. faint. They're fainted, but they are acai seeds. Yeah, so this one's a necklace, right? Yeah. I can. Okay. I say this. This is a cute. They got loads of cool designs, though. Look at all this. Some plates as well, wall plates. And another bracelet. Mm -hmm. Man, I want to buy it all. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Check out this little Amazon canoe here. I guess that's how they get around. Just the one pedal. Must be peaceful living out here though. Yeah. Just the sounds of the birds and the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah, this sounds awesome. Hearing this every day. So we're at the spot where the two rivers combine now. So you can see this is the darker river, the Rio Negro, and then just right here, the line, is where Solimões start. But I think uh, the rest of the Amazon after is the brown color, isn't it? Yeah, because they, they happen to mix, but not here, because uh, at this moment the, the other river is going way faster and they have different uh, like substances, so it takes a while for them to mix. That's why here you can see the, the difference, Division. but yeah, in the, in the distance you, they will mix. Yeah. yeah, look at it now, so now you can really see it. <laughs> right on the line now. <laughs> So we're checking the difference in the temperature. So this is the Rio Negro, kind of warm. And now we're going into the light brown one. Whoa! Colder. Whoa. So we're back at our Airbnb again 
And today was just really awesome, really nice introduction to the Amazon this day tour. I think this day tour is more for people that are here just for a day, just passing by quickly. So yeah, even if you're just in the city of Manaus, you don't really have to go far to get like the rainforest experience, meet the different communities, stuff like that. So yeah, I think it's good for people that are just here for one day. But they do have many other tours, like I said, um, the site will show. So if you're here for two days, they have tours. If you're here for like three, four, five, they have all sorts of different things. Um, yeah, with different like time frames. So yeah, there's loads of different tours for everyone. And like we said, over the next few days, we're actually going to be staying in the rainforest. So yeah, we're really looking forward to that. The people that did it already on the the boat today said that it's even way better than everything we saw today and today was already awesome so yeah just can't wait for that so if you like this video just drop a like to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one